Yo, it's Rux. Welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to make a beat in Ableton. So we're going to make a drum pattern with MIDI and then we're going to make a drum pattern using just audio samples. I'll show you how to do both in Ableton and we'll take it from there. In order to make drums in Ableton, you have a few different options. One option is to use a drum rack. The drum rack can be found under drums, which is the first hit right here. You can double click and that will pull it up. This will bring up a blank drum rack, which you can fill with your own samples. So your own snares, your own perks, your own everything. You can even use non-drum related samples if you wanted to. And for this example, I'm gonna be picking one of the previously made kits, which is gonna be right here. I'll double click to fill that in and it will automatically go here. One thing I wanna point out is that I'll be working in the piano roll. And to get to the piano roll, I will need to get to this mode. Best way to do that is to hit tab, and then you can go to the clip here, and here I'll delete it, double click. Now you have your piano roll. From here, you'll be able to arrange your beats and kind of audition different types of arrangements. And from here, you can then record and create new variations for your track. So depending on your workflow preference, this is gonna be one way to do it. And then I'll show you how to do it with just regular drag and drop samples, which is how I personally do it. Now let's say that we want to build our own drum kit inside of the drum rack. So what you'll do is you'll open up the drum rack, which will go to drums and drum rack. So now you'll just go through and pick each of your elements. So for example, you can add a kick, a clap, a snare, you can also add your hi-hats open and close. You can add a ride. You can also add a crash. There's also different types of perks or different types of shakers that you can put in there as well. Really, it doesn't matter what you put in there. It's going to be up to you as an artist. Additionally, I'll tell you that each note here is going to correlate with your MIDI notes if you want to use MIDI. It's really cool because if you have a drum pad or some sort of a piano that has MIDI, you're able to play the drums instead of just drawing them in, which is a little bit more artistic and can be a lot more fun. Now let's say that you wanted to extract each individual element or instrument from your drum rack. How you do that is go to your drum rack, make sure that you've selected this icon right here, which will bring up your chains. And then all you do is right click on one of your elements that you wanna extract and click on extract chains. And now what it'll do is make a separate chain with your singular element and what you can do from here is you can freeze and flatten which will render it to audio or you have the option to resample it back in there's always going to be a few different ways to accomplish the goal and for this first type of beat i'm going to show you how to make a rock beat or hip-hop beat it's basically the same beat in some cases so there'll be a kick on the first beat there'll be a hi-hat an open hi-hat on the offbeat and then on the second beat so one and two this will be a snare so kick hi-hat snare hi-hat kick and then the, it repeats so we'll start it from there and this is what it would sound like once you draw it in you can either draw it in with the tool or double click you can hit b if you're in ableton and then you can draw and then if you don't want to do that you can just simply double click and you can also change the grid so that you can get different sizes if you wanted to um, and here's what that sounds like. Now to recreate the same beat, but with audio samples, what we'll do is go to our samples over here, drag and then drop. You can search, which is what I did for this sample. And now that I have it there, I will be able to either hit Command D to duplicate, or you can hold either Alt on a PC or Option on a Mac drag with your mouse and then let go with your mouse and let go of the key. That is another way to duplicate. You can do this as many times as you want. And that is an efficient way to get these samples out quickly. Now, in terms of the pattern, you'll just follow the same logic and put on one and two for the kick hi-hat snare pattern. So remember it was the kick on the one, the hi-hat on the off, which was the two, and then the snare came in on the second beat and then another hi-hat. Now here's the same beat but in audio form. 
And now we've officially made the same beat pattern, both with dragging and dropping audio, which is one way to do it. And then you can also make a beat with the drum rack, which is the other way we did it. So we have identical patterns here. As you can see, the drum rack only takes up one lane here, but it is all connected. If you wanted to add different effects to each of your elements, you would have to split them up or you would have to do it inside of the drum rack. Again, it's a personal preference. You can do the same things either way. So now you have a couple of ways to make a drum beat inside of Ableton, as well as go back and forth between MIDI and audio samples. If you learned something today, like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.